It's time. We finished Index Season 1. We're going to be watching, I think, in release order. That's the plan so far. It may change. Railgun is upon us. People basically say, the only reason I want you to watch Index is so that we can watch Railgun. <laughs> which, and Accelerator, which is like... What reason? Which is why I thought that we would never watch Tuaru. I, I genuinely thought that Index was never going to happen because of so much like quote unquote mid shit we have to watch. But it wasn't really bad at all. And in terms of performance and like the amount of people that watch this stuff on YouTube right now for my audience, it's absolutely killing us. So it's looking like we can have a field day with all of Tuaru. Who knows what's going to happen by the time Index Season Three happens? Maybe we'll have to you know hold you guys hostage and say I won't complete Accelerator or you know rest of Railgun if I don't watch Index Season Three. But hey, let's begin. A certain railgun. Season 1. This is a side story, huh? Like, <laughs> So, a certain magical index. Side story. This is the right one I have, right? This is episode 1. Certain scientific railgun. Episode 1. Yeah. Let's see how much like better like the animation quality is. Because they see that JC staff went crazy for railgun compared to index. I think we should ask the other people if they're going to be okay. She about the fucking railgun them. <laughs> That's right, all kids. Yeah, welcome to this amazing city where we pump your kids full of drugs and make them go schizo to open up their personal reality to unlock Esper powers. Great. 20, 30 year gap, bro. Those trash bin month things are really cute. Indoctrinating and you know, giving these kids propaganda while they're young. Mm -hmm. We gotta groom them while they're young. That's what they're doing, bro. Yay, it's for powers! Kuno don't chan! Yeah. <laughs> Worst tour ever, bro. What a great impression. BDBD doing her thing. Kuroko. Teleport. You know what I just realized about her powers? She could do some really crazy shit or she could teleport her enemy up in the middle of the sky and then just drop them. And assuming that they didn't have a power that could, you know, prevent the impact of fall damage, like, she could just kill them like that, huh? She could just straight up just pick dudes up and drop them and go somewhere else. <laughs> Kashira. Uiharu. Like the uh, main, like, I don't know, navigator girl. Behind the scenes doing research. Hacker. They probably already done. <laughs> yep. Bidi Bidi did her thing. I'm surprised they're alive. Yo. Yo, they haven't flashed Misaka's shorts yet. Nope. The authorities. Ooh, the decision makers, the big honchos. Hey, it's that vending machine that she fucked up. And that's why she like kicks it to like have the drinks come out, right? This is kind of what we had that. Not really a date with Toma, but that's the one! Kick it. Yeah, there it is. And there is our first shorts. Right? I, I think this is the first we've seen today. Of all of Railgun, actually. Poor vending machine. <laughs> Wearing terrible things under your skirt again. Because she wants to see her actually, you know, flash her panties. Wonder if Kuroku has gone around to the other Misaka clones and just like flash, just try to like look under the panties. But I bet she would feel like, nah, this isn't the same. This is not the same Misaka, so it's, it just doesn't hit right. So like, it, it doesn't, it's pointless. I heard sirens. <laughs> so like these trash men, you know, object character things like the janitor bot that like, uh-oh, uh-oh, victim, vending machine's getting fucked up again, vandalism, vandalism. So like, if we were caught, and that's the crazy thing that we're part of judgment, bro. We're part of judgment. We're supposed to be like, you know, law enforcement, but we're fucking shit up and running away from other law enforcement. Like, would like stronger robots show up? Like, what, what, how dangerous could this be? Hmm. 
Nice teleport. System scan. That's the ranking, right? That's the testing your abilities for ranks. The super fancy middle school. Elites of the elite. Star. <gasps> oh yeah, you're a level 5. You're a level 5. You guessed all three shapes perfectly. Level 5, there we go. Thank you, Cream Puff, for the prime. <laughs> Nani? 0 0.2 millimeter accuracy? That precision? Level 5. She's also level 5. Oh my god. This is sick. This is really cool. It's basically like, you know, not really like entrance exam, but like every year, or every like increment of how many months or so, they do like a reevaluation of how good you're with your powers. And then that kind of like determines your new rank and level and stuff. Kuruko. Level 4. Wah, wah. Excuses. Ojo-sama? She had a bit of an Ojo-sama laugh, but she has the fan there too. That doesn't have the blonde rolls though. <laughs> she does have the Ojo-sama vibes. Rivals? Rivals. What's her powers? 11D, baby. That's right. Kuroko on that 11D power scaling. Do I know what 11D means? Fuck a vino, bro! Space time distortion teleport, sure, why not? First grader. We're younger. Oh, you're Tokiwadai's big ace? Self proclaimed or what? Is she self proclaimed ace? <laughs> he just yapping. Misaka. Oh, I know this. I, I read this in the wiki. This is. I remember how like um, Misaka's powers were evaluated. The specific example was the railgun power is so strong that you need to like muffle the impact by shooting it into like a swimming pool. And something about like super precision on top of that. And everything comes to why she's like level five, right? That was railgun. Oh, she's a transfer student. Mm. Level 5. Railgun. Yeah. Come on, Ace. 10 30 meters per second. Level 5. And I think one of the craziest things I read in the wiki during about this evaluation is about the difference between the Misaka clones and this Misaka. She doesn't, like, the reason why they have the goggles is because the clones don't have the acuity. The visual acuity, the precision. Like, she doesn't even need that shit. And she can just shoot it, and she can be so accurate. But everyone else, they, like, need the goggles. I, I think that was even mentioned in Index like, Season 1 about, like, yeah, we don't have, like, the same vision awareness. That's why we wear goggles or something. <sighs> Here we go. So high tech and fancy, bro. Yeah. What would I want? The teleport skill or the railgun skill? Honestly, if I was in the railgun, like this universe, maybe I'd be tempted to choose railgun because, like, in real life, like, real life practicality. Railgun's not practical. If you show that you have that power, you're probably gonna get taken by the fucking government. Teleport, maybe you can make the same argument as well, but the utility of the teleport would be so much more convenient. So I, I feel like I would choose teleport regardless of its total world or this world. It's, it's just too busted. That's right, you're the ace. Whoop chest. <laughs> <laughs> Censor that shit, Sir Gregor. Put that dog on that titties. <laughs> She's such a gooner, man. She really loves her, huh? Like, like be but is there a reason why she loves her? Maybe Railgun will tell like a really sad backstory. Maybe in the back long time ago, Kuroko was alone and, you know, sorry, depressed and 
Misaka like saved her and now she's like her god and that kind of explains why she glazes her so much. <laughs> or she's just horny and that'd be hilarious if there's no backstory. This is the hacker girl. She's always wearing a flower head crown. <laughs> so basically this is Misaka and this is Kuroko. These two also have the similar relationship. Light pink polka dots. I see. Satan. Uihara and Satan. <laughs> the boys are all blushing. So they're in different schools though. Because there's actually boys at the school. Their uniforms are I think different. So like we go to like Kuroko and Misaka goes to like a super elite middle school. Maybe they're older actually. And they're like in the same high school that like Index and sorry Thomas going to. But like different schools though. Satan, Uihara, Kuroko, Misaka. But I'm sure she offers like crazy support. It looked like she was doing some hacker man computer stuff, so her powers may not be measured correct like as great as like other people's skills, but like she's still very like important in our team. Yeah, what's the flowers for? <laughs> Was that Nara Sensei? I don't know, cause this is actually hilarious. <laughs> are the flowers on your head just for show? Make them fucking bloom and use solar beam or something. What the fuck is? Are you role playing? What what is this shit? That's actually kind of me. <laughs> <laughs> level one, yeah. Another level zero. I think, I mean, in Index, I don't think I've really seen anyone of other level zero other than Toma, but Saten is also level zero. No powers. Nah, she got something. There's no way. There is no way she has no power. So, so what does that mean? Does that mean like, Level zeros also get pumped full of drugs, but they just cannot create their personal reality. Well, like, if there's a bunch of level zeros in this place, isn't that sad? That they basically, like, give up their entire body to this fucking academy city. They do crazy research and pump us full of drugs. And then we get nothing out of it. And there's also basically this, like, case system where, you know, level 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> That's actually so sad. <laughs> And she's just here to essay Uihara and look at her panties. Hey, that's the idol that we saw in Angel Fall arc. There, he comes up again. Yo, is. I hope he actually shows up in the story rather than being referenced like this. Like, do you think he'll have a. I don't know. It, it'd be so cool if he was like a really important character. Wow. Super sweaty. When she get like hostile and you aggro and make her pissed off, maybe some of that will show up. But I feel like for the most part, she doesn't just go around thinking everyone's just trash, right? At least from the anime that I've seen. Maybe there are some parts of it, but she doesn't just like, she's not just hostile and goes around thinking you're trash, you're trash, right? If there's some like personal beef, then like that competitive nature rises up, but I don't know. <laughs> Gold digger? She's just a gold digger? <laughs> yes, it's the fact that she's no Joe Sama, I love it even more. Wait, 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 wait. I'm from West Kasai, has nothing to do with this. Um, I'm not sure what West Kasai is, but this is like because we're from like the same area. That like Misaka, I'm kind of like riding on her coattails because like you made it. We're all from West Kasai, is that kind of thing? Alright, let's go see Misaka. Electromaster. 
Electromaster is probably Uihara. If she's doing Hackerman computer beep boop beep boop shit. Having flow of current powers. I don't know. Electromaster. Because like Electromaster, it could be... It sounds like, you know, Misaka's electric ability, but she's Railgun, right? She, there's a title, so this is Uihara's title? Joseph's. Yo, ain't this the place that Misaka Misaka got food poisoning? Is this the place? Is it? Wasn't it, wasn't it called Julian's? No, 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 it was called Julian's, wasn't it? It started with a J. Am I crazy? Go back to that old reaction. I swear it was called Julian's, not Joseph's. But the interior kind of does remind me of the same place. How many branches? 170... <laughs> the judgment system is actually kind of funny. I don't know who runs it, but like... Like, you don't have to... Like, I know anti-skill exists, but rather than like paying, you know, adults and shit... It just like treat the, do these kids get salaries for doing judgment? I'm not sure, but like it's like a clever way of like <laughs> having like law enforcement, but not paying the kids and just making the kids fucking do the job as like as like volunteer work. Who knows? Yeah, child labor basically. Mm -hmm. No, she's not well mannered. She is not. Oh, she acknowledges her. Hmm? I'm down for the lingerie. So, Uihara. She only exists. To create an excuse for a date. I'm from these yaks. Eliminate Uihara. The best part is how in every one of these scenes, Uihara is just like a black silhouette, meaning like she does not matter. Eliminate. Love Hotel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who will be the top and bottom here? Either or, I think, would make sense. Just, I'm just thinking, like, Kuroko's always chasing after Misaka. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna get kicked out, bro. We're gonna get kicked out of this place. He got kicked out, I think. They're both middle school. Okay. So, I'm assuming that, like, this middle school is pretty shitty. Relative to, you know, the Ojo-sama schools. And considering we're both level 5 and 4 here, and they're level 1 and 0, I'm sure, like, ranking, like, power, like, that also determines, like, whether or not you go to a really nice school, or whether or not you go to a shitty school. Or maybe you could just brute force it with money, but it was, like, Levels. There's like rankings, prestige based on how much like powers you have. Act normal. Act normal. Wow. Zero. Great. Just saying it straight up. See, she doesn't look down on them. <laughs> what? Did she half expect Misaka to be like? <laughs> Level zero. <laughs> you, you hear this? Is everyone listening right now? Level zero. What a loser. <laughs> and then leave. That, that's how you expected Ojo sama to be like. Where are we going next? Laundry shopping. Laundry shopping. Game center. Want to play games? I feel like this is like a very important moment because obviously these four girls are, you know, the main. It's not a triplet, a quadruplet, kind of quartet. Basically, these four are like the core of Railgun, right? So like this is like the faded moment when they all meet together. Beady Beady really loves that frog, man. <laughs> That's not Misaka. She doesn't like that shit. That's like the idealized version of Misaka. She ain't. She's kind of delinquent. She's tomboyish. <gasps> the frog. The beady beady frog. She's gonna want this. It's got a mustachio and a soup. We gotta get it. 
What did you say? It's another crepe. Big crepe propaganda. That's right. You've seen it time after time. Every time you have some sort of dates or some sort of, you know, going out to eat. What do we see? Crepes. I think that the Japanese government and the big crepe industry, they're all colluding and trying to fucking promote crepe, bro. Big crepe. Mm -mm. I don't think I've even ever ate a crepe before. I kind of want to try one now. The frog. She's fixated on the frog. The frog. Gekota is his name. You have a Gekota merch on your bag. Your phone case is also Gekota. I wonder why she has, she has a fixation with this frog though. Also, it's even funnier. Heaven Canceller. Heaven Canceller is the frog. I wonder if Misaka actually kind of thinks like Heaven Canceller is cute because he resembles like a frog. You? Look at that merch. Gekota. So cute. Very cute. Crepes. It's popping. Oh, it's a tourist bus. It's the fucking tourist bus. That's why everyone's here. One second. We got some English here. Oh, there are so many people. What's with all the kids? Remember, our break will only be one hour long. Everybody, Yo, please we get the English stuff. Must have bad timing. Yeah. Huh. English stuff doesn't sound bad, right? It's all right. It's all right. All right, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. This is awkward. It's the two of us. Kind of awkward. She wants it. You want the frog. She might just railgun these kids to get Gekota, bro. Oh, what if they run out of the limited Gekota with the mustache and the tuxedo? Dude, why is... It's the last one. Oh, no. Satin might die here, bro. But did you hear the sound effect when Gekota shows up? It sounds like a fucking... What is this? Is that the sound of a frog to you? Okay. The last one. Uh-oh. <laughs> you gotta give it to her. You gotta give it to her. My savior. I think this is great. Now Saten and Misaka, they're gonna be like... Pretty good friends, maybe. Misaka's definitely gonna see Saten in such a like a great light because it's gonna be like, oh my god, you're my savior. Yeah. Yay. Crepe. Big crepe. I'm not gonna lie, the crepes look pretty good, man. Natto and crepe sounds weird. Mm -hmm. She's far from it. What? Oh. Indirect kiss. I wonder if Kuroko's gotten the indirect kiss before. Oh, sussy. What's going on? Oh, shit, here we go. Here's the action. <laughs> she just indirect deep throated that, bro. Kuroko just indirect kiss, indirect deep throat. Let's go. The badge is out. Judgment. 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 I can't believe it, bro. Securing the Academy City is Judgment's job. They led a bunch of middle school girls to be the law enforcement of this place. It's a fucking crazy concept, but let's go. Child labor. Let's go. Saten, what you gonna do? What is Saten's role? Oh shit, a middle school girl. <gasps> Do they got powers? It's gonna sound freaking ridiculous, dude. Like, if you're like hardened criminals and like a middle school girl shows up saying, Look at my badge. <laughs> I'm arresting you. I'd laugh too. But like, oh, you got no clue, man. You got no clue. <laughs> Wow. 
Wow. Oh, yo, 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 yo. That whole movement there was so smooth. Look at the sidestep. Oh, and then the hair still moving. That's just so fluid. Oh, my God. The JC staff is going all out for Railgun. Yo, tour guy, stop it. Oh, boy. Satan, what's he gonna do? What can you do? Satan is the opposite of Toma. If Toma has Imagine Breaker, Satan's left arm hand has Imagine Creator. Which sounds actually more busted. Like, Imagine Creator. Like, you create, like, it's like a reality you just fucking create. With, I don't know how the fuck that makes sense, but I, what's Satan? What, what is Satan, bro? What you gonna do? Ooh. Bye. So sick. Kuroko so sick. Oh shit, she's trapped. That's right. She did the whole thing where she used this in Index 2, I think. Where she just basically ported this shit in the top, right? And then she let that shit drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OP. That's the thing. Like, what happens when you accidentally teleport inside a wall? Because you fucked up. Do you just die? But in this concept, you can use it of like, I can teleport this shit right up your fucking ass. Right in your ball sack. Satan, what you doing? Satan, can you sniff like a dog? There's a kid. You're the kid. The, the key. <laughs> oh no, she got kicked in the face. <laughs> Misaka like railgun this kid. Soundtrack change. Oh. It's because Satan is so important. Satan sacrificed her frog merch. For Misaka, bro. You kick her in the face, you're getting railgun. Let's go. Let's go. It's over. Yeah. That's Kuroko. You. <laughs> what the hell is the rumor? Did Kuroko send this rumor? There's another who rules over that teleporter's body and soul sounds exactly what Kuroko wants the public to know. <laughs> mm, Railgun that bitch. Yeah. Level 5. Third strongest. Railgun. Oh, you dumbass. I thought you were gonna run away. Maybe he could have gotten away if he kept running away, but you turned around trying to hit us. Oh, you done. Get it. Woo! You're dead. The real gun, dude. The panty shot flare. I think it's the shorts, bro. That's so hype. Rail gun happens, and then boom, short. Rail gun. Ace. Electric princess. Bro, how many fucking titles is she gonna have? There's some. There's some Daenerys shit from Game of Thrones. Mother of Dragons, The Unburnt, Breaker of Chains, Her Hind, like, like, you got Railgun, what, Electro Master shit, Intermission scene, you say that was that shit, Electric Princess of Soul, BD BD, the one who has all the fucking frog merchandise, dude, bro, how many titles are you gonna have? No. Let's go. <sighs> so cool, he survived that. I think that he wasn't, she wasn't trying to kill him, though. Mm -hmm. Just absolute power, the railgun. Anti-skill. <laughs> Why are you working this job? Please get in, the, get in the back of the van. You're not so concerning. Also, here's a teacher. Here's a teacher we saw, you know, that was, you know, with Komoi since remember? She was there for uh, anti-skill. Maybe she's one of those types where it sounds like she's like a soft, weak girl, but she's actually super cruel and sadistic and like strong. Like the whole gap moe of like, you know, anxious girl that seems like it, but is actually batshit crazy. The pyrokinesis? <laughs> oh, 
Wow. Sounds like it was true. I thought that maybe, you know, Kuroko was saying some, you know, self-righteous indignation stuff, but it's like, yeah, it hit him deep. Damn. Now, Satan, you took a foot to the face. You deserve this. Aww. Gekota, the symbol of our friendship. Yeah, you jumped in there. That's brave. Hmm. Yo, the Satan and Misaka relationship is really nice. And like, and she didn't even want any of this. It was Uehara was like, I want to see Misaka, I want to see Misaka, but it's actually these two that's like bonding the most right now. <laughs> Just casually groping her. <laughs> and that's today's episode of Railgun Episode 1, and I think this is... Like, I don't know if the quality has like increased like crazy like 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 but like the whole i, I think it's definitely a notch it's, something has improved for sure jc stab i think is definitely like putting this shit as like their flagship product maybe you guys have been saying so right so maybe i have like a biased mindset right now but based on episode one compared to all like index season one this is pretty good for like a 2009 series man this is really good so like the whole story of Railgun season one happens before Index, right? They're doing their things in Academy City and it's just like a group of four that meets up. Saten and Uihara are from different schools, level one and level zero. And we're from like a super elite school because we're just built different. Uihara seems to have some sort of like hacker abilities in the computer, right? We saw her like, you know, do shit like that. And Kuroko, you know, is OP with the teleporter. Misaka is obviously Railgun. But Saten is a really interesting one because she has no powers i wonder if they're actually going to just have her be powerless or maybe there's like a hidden potential that is missing but she is very very odd so far this episode was just a perfect mix of introducing to you know introducing the concept of academy city and what things are happening the whole like test system here was really cool i'm really glad that like i read up on the wiki regarding some of the testing stuff because like this shit like exactly when i see the water move up when i saw the water pool move up i was like oh shit that's the railgun stuff that's the stuff i read so that was like a cool callback to that and then more crepe stuff and then the slice of life elements were peak but the action sequences man oh my god my favorite moment Perhaps even more than the railgun moment is Kuroko's sidestep here as she approaches these thugs and takes them out. Kuroko is actually so, so cool. The teleporter power is so, so strong, but there's obviously limitations to it. So I guess it's just stories just gonna be these four just hanging out, taking care of business and, you know, developing their friendships and it's gonna be a beautiful story. That's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time. Take care.